So today I'm talking about a P0054 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0054 code? Well, it's an HO2S heater resistance bank one sensor two. And what does this mean? Well, there's some sensors and they're located on the exhaust and they do a few things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the onboard computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that goes into the cylinders. And then they also have heater elements built in. And this does a few things. It helps it goes into what's called a closed loop quicker. And the onboard computer seeing a problem with one of these sensors so it's gonna to have to be troubleshooting no why and some possible causes well it could be a bad sensor could be in the wiring could be a blown fuse and possibly an exhaust leak and so when you're working on these keep a lookout for an exhaust leak because that can throw these sensors off if there is one and so the first thing to do when you get this code is go locate the bank one sensor two oxygen sensor on your particular vehicle since there can be some differences it's really gonna vary it's gonna depend on the engine the year the manufacturer things like this it's always a good idea to go get a diagram of where all the sensors are laid out on your particular vehicle vehicle just makes things easier for example right here you got bank one sensor two it's going to be located right here on the catalytic converter sensor two is going to be located either right after it or on the catalytic converter sensor one is going to be up before it and bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder so if you can't get a diagram where all the o2 sensors are located on your particular vehicle just find the number one cylinder and that side will be bank one and then follow the exhaust and the second sensor going down on the exhaust is going to be sensor two and then once you locate the sensor, the next thing to do is to check out this wiring real good. There'll be a wiring harness where it plugs in. Be sure to check that out. Basically, just keep in mind, anything wrong with that wiring, bad connection, open, short, anything like that is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So just check out that wiring. Be sure it looks good. Also, keep in mind, these can be on a fuse. And if that was a blow, then it could cause issues. And so if you go through, you check that out. The wiring looks good. There's no issues there. Then very likely that sensor has just failed and just needs to be replaced. You can not test it if you want to. Basically, the way you test the heater element element side is that you find the same two colored wires which would be for the heater element and the two mismatch wires are going to be for the oxygen sensor side and you just test it to see if it's got continuity if it's got continuity then usually it means it's good you can't get the rated ohms for it but they're kind of like a light bulb on the heater element side if they blow out then they just don't work anymore I made a video on how you go about testing these. I'll put a link down below if you want to check that out. But the next thing to do is either test or replace that bank one sensor to oxygen sensor. And one thing to keep in mind with these sensors is that sometimes they can be recessed down into the exhaust and you need this special tool to get on it and get around that wire and get it back in. Not all the time. Sometimes they can't be out in the open where you can get on them with an open wrench or something along these lines, but it's really going to vary. Sometimes you need that special socket to get in because they can't be recessed down in the exhaust. I'll put a link down below to this special tool if you need it. But basically Basically, just go and look at it because you might need that special tool and you might not. It's really going to vary. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0054 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.